What's up guys, Mike from XD Experience here. So what I'm gonna talk about today in this quick little YouTube video is yesterday, or two nights ago actually, I got to watch The Killing Joke, uh, DC's new animated uh, movie that, that they put out. Um, it's one of my favorite comics of all time. I got it right over there. Uh, I love the book. Um, it is one of Alan Moore's best um, in my mind. I love V for Vendetta stuff and I love some of his other stuff, but The Killing Joke was always something that really grabbed my attention. Uh, when I was a little bit younger, well, quite a bit younger, the book's been around for a while, but when they decided they were going to do the Killing Joke animated movie, I knew that that was a short read. I mean, it would literally take you no time at all to, to read through the Killing Joke. So one thing that I was curious about was how they were going to adapt it into um, a full-length uh, feature film, I guess you could say. Now, it comes in at around an hour and 17 minutes, which is pretty good. So what they did, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. I'm just going to kind of give my reaction. Um, they just expanded the Barbara Gordon story, uh, Batgirl. You know, if you guys don't know by now, um, you know, that's what they did. They kind of expanded on that a little bit, made it a little bit more uh, watchable as far as to, to lengthen it out. Um, I really liked it. I really, really, lo I love the artwork inside of the Killing Joke uh, book and the movie. One thing I will say was the ending... Yes, it is very true to form, but it just seemed like it didn't do what I wanted it to do, I guess you could say. But having said that, I really like the movie a lot, and I urge everybody out there to go check it out. It is definitely one of DC's best animated things that they've done, and I've seen a lot of them. I've seen probably all their uh, full-length films. Um, Flashpoint uh, Paradox is, is to me probably like my favorite per se, but it is definitely uh, the Killing Joke is definitely one of their one of their best. Um, Son of Batman was really good. Under the Red Hood was really good. They they've done some really good stuff. So I knew that when they did when they decided to do this that they were going to do it right, and they did. They brought back Mark Hamill, who in this to me is the only person that could play that part, that Joker, because it is he is so good at what he does. You know, the way that he uses words, the way that he brings kind of you into the story, you feel like you're, you know, you're you're kind of in the moment. Um, Kevin Conroy is Batman. You cannot go wrong. I, the voice of Kevin Conroy, every time I read a Batman comic, that's what I think of. And as, the same way with Mark Hamill as the Joker. Every time that I've read... You know, since, you know, I was a kid, since I heard Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill do Batman and Joker, I always loved the way that they they held the story. And, you know, Kevin Conroy's voice is so, like, on point and, like, it, it just, it makes you feel like like this man is real, you know. And I, 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 just, I really like uh, Kevin Conroy's Batman. And in this, he's fantastic. Um... In, in, in this movie, though, it took a little bit to get to the Joker. I mean, I'm you're like 20-some minutes in before you even see the Joker, which is fine because, you know, you kind of get that feeling. You know, they had to build this backstory. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there who says there's like, you know, they kind of ruined Batgirl or Barbara Gordon in the, the sexual aspect. I don't feel that way. I think, I think it did what it needed to do. Um... It is rated R, but I will say it's it's your kids could watch this. Um, it, it's not nothing. I have I have kids from 12 to uh, almost 16, and you know um, they can definitely watch this without a problem. So you know uh, they they probably already have. I told them last night to watch it, so they probably already have. But it is it is really good. And you know when you hear Mark Hamill singing a song as the Joker, uh, to me that that did it for me. But there's a scene in the in the very beginning where Kevin Conroy's talking to Barbara Gordon, a.k.a. Batgirl, and they're having a dialogue, but the way that the camera does this, like, behind shot, it's well, it's a side view of Batman, but it does, like, this move, and it's my screensaver on my iPad now, because I just think it's fantastic, the way it, it just looks amazing. Um, and as far as the Joker, when you get the backstory of, you know, that, if you guys have read the comics, you know the backstory I'm talking about, but I'm not going to, like, go into that. But you really get that cool feel, and you it's Mark Hamill doing that voice as well, but a little bit different, because he's not the Joker yet. And then when you see him finally don the makeup and the face, it, it, he comes up, and we've all seen that picture um, of him, you know, with his hands and his hair, and he's laughing. Uh, that, to me, was my favorite Joker scene in the entire movie. 
But, you know, the ending of it is it's been a controversial ending for years. Um, it'll continue to be a controversial ending. I really like the way that they did it, but I will say that I kind of like felt like we, we built up and then it just leveled off as far as, as the conflict at the end. But that's to be expected because if you've read the book, you know kind of what it does and they still, they still, they stay real true to that. So yeah, I really like it. Um, I urge all you guys to go out and check out the killing joke. Um, Bruce Tim did it, and he's an, an animator for DC, and it's just he does a fantabulous, a fantastic job. Fantabulous, that's a Van Morrison song. <laughs> fantabulous night for a moon dance, but um, he does this really great rendition of the art, you know, from then, and it, it it's so on point. And I love the visuals in this uh, mo movie; it's so good. And like as far as like the leveling off at the end, it I can't really like degraded because i kind of expected that because if you read the book like i said already you kind of know how it ends but they do a really good job building the story bringing you in and then it, it just kind of like goes and it's it it's an it's an hour and 60 minutes of your life that you won't regret watching if you're a batman fan dc fan joker fan whatever you're gonna like it you're gonna like it a lot um I, like i said i do know there's some controversy behind the bar barbara gordon stuff but i i just think you know uh people need to lighten up on that i don't think that's really fair because i think that they had like they had to create a story and i think they did a really good job so that's all i'm gonna say on that check out the podcast where i'll be giving it a full review um maybe spoilers at the end of the episode so check out that this week that'll be coming out in a couple days um the xd experience you can find us all over the place stitcher itunes tune in radio uh bs network uh uh, zombie radio Net network uh just all over tangent uh tangent bound network you find us all over the place just google us um xdexperience.com and you'll find us um yeah see you guys again next time